Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to Spread the Love episode 5 now. I'm doing it for far too long. Um, I've got the awesome Scape S Music on with me tonight, um, also known as Josh. Um, and we're going to be chatting about his music. Um, he's got quite a few projects going on. There's um, loads of stuff that he's doing, which is great. And it's all, all a bit different. Um, so I'm sure there'll be lots to chat about. Um, please do as well. If you uh, have any questions for him, put them on here. Put them on the chat. Here he is now. All right. Um, I might just get straight into it and add it. Thanks for, for joining us. But yeah, if you have any questions, add them in. Um, but I will add him in and we can chat to him himself. Works. Had a few technical issues the last couple of times, but fingers crossed. Wow, oh, this yeah. is... <laughs> <laughs> Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good, thank you. So I'm just trying to get these comments out of your face. All in the way. It's okay. <laughs> So, yeah, thank you for uh, coming on and joining me tonight. No, thank you for having me. It's nice I'm to meet excited. you as well, because we've not met before. We don't, I didn't know of you before um, you popped up, because you know it through Aisha, I assume? Yeah, we, um, we uh, me and Aisha, we went to college together. Okay. Um, I've known her for a long, well, I say a long time, like maybe five or six years, and um we didn't get along very well in college and we recently sort of um just before the pandemic we sort of started chatting again and now that we've all just sort of like um grown a bit since college and we're mm. pursuing music properly we've sort of like come together and we're working on some projects now so that's that's really cool oh awesome yeah okay awesome um so yeah if you want to introduce yourself to people what your what kind of music you make where you're from who you are I think there's a few people in here that are from my following, so hello. Um, so uh, I'm Josh. Uh, I, d I very rarely do anything under my like solo name anymore, um, mainly because like uh, my other projects take up all my time at the moment. Um, but I guess I'm Scapes Music. Um, uh, yeah, I just, I don't know, I just, um, yeah, there we go. I, I just make music, there we go, that'll do. Oh, yeah, I was, <laughs> when I was looking through it, um, you know, it's not just you, there's so many other projects that you're, you, you know, you kind of branch off in. Off in. Um, so what, how have you come about those projects? It's the, the band and then the DJing and the, um, the, the new streetwear brand as well. Yeah, I cool. mean... The, a lot of it is is like um it's like a how do i explain it um so I don't, how do i even start with this question um i'll talk about my band first mm -hmm. um so we make um i'd say it's like metalcore music but it's not like your typical metalcore music this is why i don't think i've met you yet because I know that you go to a lot of the like open mics, the open mm -hmm. mic scene, and I've not. I've been meaning, obviously, before COVID, I was meaning to go and sort of absorb myself in that because I usually just went to all of the like metal and hardcore gigs. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, and that's the sort of scene that m me and my band are in, um, and it's sort of like it's metalcore stuff but we we're really into like you know we're re all really into dance music we're all really into like contemporary hip-hop and stuff like that so just sort of it's like a melting pot of all of the different things um that's my band at the moment um that's that's my band in firm of purpose i'll put i'll at us in the chat yes, please do. Um, would like to go and follow my band i would appreciate it um, <laughs> we will follow you back i'll follow you back after this live stream um uh lost boys the little dj duo thing that i have going on um is actually with a vocalist from another metal band that we'd gigged with um connor from cabin board jump ship and his band are like crazy they like tour 
all over the world. Mm-hmm. They're like, so much bigger than us. And I'd geeked with them a couple of times and, you know, started chatting to him. He'd, he'd asked who produced our stuff. And I said, I did it. Um, and there was this show that um, a band had pulled out of. And uh, he said, do you fancy coming and like DJing some like metal stuff just to like warm everybody up for the gig? And I, I said, yeah, that's fine. Why not? Um, I went and he, after that, after he'd seen that I could DJ properly, he approached me and said, do you want to start a dance project? Um, which is really, really like left field of, you know, our, our bands. Mm-hmm. So that's how that came about. And um, it's it's slow. It's really slow compared to um, my band. Uh, I think we, we've been me and Connor have been doing this project since 2019, and we've only put two tracks out. Um, but it, it is something different. And I think we've we've only compared to my band as well. I think I can't remember how many shows me and my band have played, and we me and Connor have only played one show. So. Um, those are my music projects, the main ones. Um, oh. Yeah, there we go. Because <laughs> yeah. I was um, looking at it all, and it's all quite different. Like your, I listened to your um, the recent EP that you released, mm-hmm. and some of that is quite it's quite chilled, and it's kind of like a nice chilled EP. Some of it, and then obviously the band is kind of pretty <laughs> <laughs> pretty dissimilar to that. But it's, I yeah. think it's good because you're kind of like you're in the middle and if people want to get all like three genres of music they just come to you and then branch off mm-hmm. do you find that you know that makes it exciting for you is that you you've always got different projects which are completely different to each other yeah i mean i before um the lockdown happened and and the the covid situation got serious mm. um i obviously did spend time with friends and stuff like that and that was that was lovely back when we could do that but um uh people um and i'm not saying this in a like oh look at me like um sort of way but um people would very often like ask you know what what do you do in your spare time and it's it's music all the time or like uh, and sometimes it's like suffocating because i have so many like creative projects that are like my own Mm. and then my job at the moment is working as a music producer so I have like a couple of people that I'm you know doing regular work for one of them being Aisha I'm now mastering her latest work that's going to be coming out so it's it's a lot um a lot to deal with but it, it I like um I really really like being busy I don't I don't like um having having nothing to work on um and in the midst of all this i'm also currently a teacher trainee so it's like you know a lot of work (laughs) but um i enjoy being a workaholic so you know yeah it sounds like a lot have you do you struggle to juggle it all or do you find like sometimes it's it can get like you know you've got your hands in so many um what's the saying you've got your feet in so many like whatever it is you know <laughs> oh my god i have my fingers in so many different pies thank you yeah thank yeah. you very much um <laughs> uh do you find that like that can be like musically a little bit confusing or a bit you know much sometimes yeah sometimes um i don't know it's 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 very tricky i think the the whole um passion for all of the projects for me comes down to um i love loads of different music um Mm. and you know being able to work on all of these different styles of music is um something i find really inspiring i know that um you know a lot of people have like a a niche um which is good um but currently i i I don't have one i like to make a lot of different stuff because i think i think um and you know you can pro- i'm so sorry there are people screaming outside of my flat <laughs> um, this happens very regularly <laughs> um yeah i think you know having a niche can be good um 
but but for me ha- working on loads of different style projects is mm. just yeah it's it's really nice to break things up yeah definitely it sounds awesome and also like when I was listening to it I was like oh I'll have a little listen I was like, oh crikey it's like there's so much to listen to <laughs> how, how long have you been creating music or writing and producing it and stuff um I think my my whole music journey um and loads of people are so surprised by this because almost that th- there's almost no um what's the word there's no like footage or, or like photos or anything of me playing the guitar on on the internet because it's not like mm. at the forefront of what I do but I started off um learning to play the guitar I was like six so it's been like from that point to now a lot has changed um <laughs> But that's like the start of things. Um, but yeah, I think uh, just just generally like since since college, um, just a lot of making all of these music projects and getting involved with them is just came down to like networking and taking opportunities mm-hmm. as they present themselves, really. So yeah, my, my street is so loud. I'm I'm so 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 <laughs> sorry. <laughs> typical city yeah it just is uh before we go into whatever you were going to ask me just thank you so much to everybody i can see so many people that Mm. regularly watch my fans live streams coming in so thank you for coming to watch this i appreciate you all so much (laughs) good it's good that you got have like a a committed little fan base there Mm. yeah there's some cool people so also with this um, you know, people turning up to live streams and stuff like that. Are you? It's me now. Yeah. I'm motorcycles. Um, are you excited to get out again and perform? Like, where are you excited to go play live and stuff? Um, I am excited. I think. Um, we've in my band, we've only booked one gig. Uh, no, actually, no. Tell a lie. We've booked two gigs. Um, so far. I think um, last year we were booking, you know, so many gigs when, you know, we were expecting the whole pandemic to end in two months and then we could be straight back in and gig it. Um, so we've currently only booked two so that if things do go south again, it's not too much to reorganise. Um, mm. So there's one in, um, I believe it's Burton Way, but I can't remember exactly where. We've not uh, announced it yet because they've had to rebook the date. It was meant to be in July and it's been rebooked. Um, Mm -hmm. Well, that's a charity um, gig for um, a great cause. So if anybody's in the area and wants to come down and uh, support the boys for a good cause, um, follow my band and there will be details on there as soon as we can uh, put them out. Um, and the other one is Altfest in Derby. So that's like the biggest, um, I'd say all day festival for like, um, like metalcore, hardcore and like sort of the heavier end of rock music in Derby mm-hmm. since oh, I forgot what the biggest one was a few years ago. I think it was, 2Q Festival, um, which was massive, but they stopped doing that. So Alt Fest is where it's at now. Um, nice. I think that's about it, really. In terms oh, yeah. of gig, it would be really nice to. Um, I I can see that the the music sounds like it will be something really good to listen to at a gig. Because yeah, like almost My- like personally my i don't i haven't listened to that much of like the metalcore thing i was like mm-hmm. okay but this this would be a good, good gig to go to it feels like that kind of music that would be good to be in a group of people with and just experience it with yeah i i i really enjoy um the gigs with my band um i i don't know i, I don't want to say i enjoy it more than the other ones because i do enjoy enjoy djing as well but um yeah, I mean, it's. I find in a, in a metal band that's not so big, it's very hit and miss with how gigs go. Right. Um, because of the way that gigs work in the metal scene, um, it depends on how much 
the headline band uh, main support if they're touring with the headline band and then the locals like mm-hmm. bring in. So if you get a good turnout and people are, you know, particularly happy to be at the gig, um, you know, it's a really nice atmosphere. But I mean, I have played some proper like bad shows <laughs> like I've played some bad shows where there's been a lot of people and I've just like, I've played shows where there's not been many people through the door, but uh, you know, it, it is what it is. You turn it into just sort of like, okay, there's not many people here. We'll have fun anyway. Um, yeah. You know, so that is what it is, but it's all about the yeah, atmosphere, it, isn't it? definitely. I do. I do my, uh, one of my um, personal goals when um lockdown is finished and there's like you know live music coming back again in um my hometown is to make it to some more of the open mics so i can chat to people i was i was um watching the live that you did with aisha Mm -hmm. and um i was listening to you guys talk about how it's just a really nice place to um meet people and network and I, I really love doing that getting to know people and, and what they do it's it's really cool so yeah you meet such a like an eclectic group of people because everyone's there doing something completely different it's like you're not going to a gig where everyone's a rock fan or everyone's a, a alternative fan you're going to a gig where go to an open mic where everyone likes something completely different to you and that's mm-hmm. why that's why it's so good because you meet people that might you know give you opportunities that you wouldn't even you didn't even know existed before because you hadn't thought about it yeah yeah definitely and i think i don't know because i haven't been but from an outsider's point of view it feels like a very i don't know what the word is a very friendly atmosphere i think um in in gigs um where there's one specific sort of genre let's say people um depending on how much they've had to drink how entitled (laughs) they get sort of a bit gatekeepy uh we've Mm. had we've had um shows where we've you know in my band we've turned up and we're the only band that's not straight up metalcore stuff because we have like loads of different sort of tracks that have got elements of other genres in um we've ha- we've been heckled like it's it, it's it's been rough sometimes we 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 had like um one show in london where we played with um three bands who are very like very metal mm-hmm. um one of them we were really really good friends with so we're excited to go down and play the show and the venue is lovely um if anyone goes to uh, gigs in london 229 is the most amazing venue i love the people in there like you get your own massive green room they're all like dead professional they book you like um sound check slots it's it's lovely we went to this went to this gig and we played it everyone there loved it we we got on with all the bands that we didn't already know um got to spend some time with the band that we were friends with at the time um sadly split up now and yeah there was someone from a like publisher for metal music and they did a review of the whole night and it so how it went was there was opening band which wasn't us and they were sort of like okay this band is mediocre but it's okay we happened and then they were like yeah this band is awful they clearly don't know where they're going with their music and then the other two bands they were like yeah this is good because they could like I, I want to say it's because they can put a pin in it and say these this band is this mm. and it's it's not like that with us so it, it it can be a bit hit and miss at band gigs but that's why I'm sort of ready to get involved with the like open mic scene in in Derby because it 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 looks from an outsider's point of view really friendly and just a nice place to be. So I'm excited yeah. to go. Yeah, you don't often get heckled. <laughs> no, I wouldn't expect it. I mean, you probably go to these things expecting there to be a variety of music. So Exactly, yeah. Oh, awesome. I was, yeah, I was looking at, um, so 
some of your videos of um of and photos and stuff of your DJing as well. I've got a question about it. Um that asked the sampler, like the pad controller that you use, what what make is it? Where where is it from? And stuff like that. How do you use it? So it looks quite cool. This ah. Yes, I think so. Uh, this is a I don't know whether that's gonna oh it's gonna be flipped, isn't it? Okay. This is a <laughs> Poland SP four oh four. This is my um, uh, probably not my favourite piece of kit, but it was um, something I bought, I think, it'd be two years ago this September, um, with um, like a collection of birthday money and stuff I had saved up. Mm. Um, and yeah, it's. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to like go into detail about how I use it, but you can use it for like loads of different things. Um, a lot of people. There's like a whole community of people that make the like chill music, similar to the EP that I made, and mm. you can make like entire tracks on it. It's very difficult. I'm not sort of like at that level yet, um, but you can like load samples into it. Um, you know, sequence it. There's a song mode. It's it's just a really handy thing and. One thing that I've I've been meaning to do because I have I have a project that I'm working on, which is like the chill stuff, but it's I'm working with a vocalist who was in a, a metal band I used to be in like years and years ago, and the whole idea is that we make our songs, and when we go to a gig, he can take his guitar, uh, I'll take this, and that's all we need to play our, our tracks. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed. If everything goes to plan and we don't go back into another lockdown, um, I'll be bringing that to an open mic at some point. Yeah, that'd but, be cool. There it is. It's my baby. Nice. <laughs> do, you, do you use it just for live or is it for recording as well? Is it just for live performance? Um, you, uh, there's a lot of different things you can do with it. I don't think it's necess necessarily made for live performance oh. um it's very fiddly uh because the way that i usually use it is i'll load up like a different loop into like a different pad mm -hmm. um and i have to make all of those in my door because they have to be like perfectly cut to loop and then because nothing's quantized you have to make sure you're hitting all the pads at the same time and mm. it's very tricky um it's almost like learning to type on a computer yeah. like learning where everything is um but i've like um recorded um like samples through it into my door there's like a load of effects on it um there i was in the studio doing a session for a band that I'm working with and we were like running guitars through it and it, it, there's there's loads and loads of different stuff you can do with it it's it's a nice good uh, piece of studio gear to be honest so yeah awesome and yeah. it lends itself so well to the to that kind of solo music that you make as well mm -hmm. yeah definitely um oh my god people are actually yo right first of all yeah everyone who's checking out my band shout out you i've, I've not been checking the chat there's so many people <laughs> i know i accidentally honestly did a typo and put the wrong word by accident so ignore me sorry <laughs> it's okay thank you so if anybody's like still watching who's came through from from my instagram thank you so much this oh my god i'm so taken aback there's so many people here yeah, or it's good. has been you no know. Oh, I love it. A good sign Big for things to come, eh? Hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> um, so, about your music, let's talk about um, your latest release, your EP. Um, how Hot. did you? Yes. How did you find that release during lockdown, and what you know? What's the? Was there like a through line for the whole EP? What you wanted to achieve with it? Any, any like, if you wanted to achieve something new with the EP, or is it just? kind of something you want to try a bit chill back um the 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 ep sort of came about i mean i really like the um the whole like lo-fi beats to study to type genre um something that's very very often 
on like the you'll see the like 24 hour like um live streams on youtube mm. um that i'll stick on if i'm like working on an assignment or something where i'm not working on music um and i just i really really liked that music i'd done some lo-fi bits before and um over the christmas period um being back at my house with it being christmas and everything being really hectic i didn't really have any space or time to get my laptop out and work on like um making music because whenever i i'd open it i'd be working on like um a commission so it sort of felt like every time i got it out it wasn't to do anything that was for me it was to do a piece of work for someone else i was getting paid to do so i downloaded um fl studio mobile on my phone which is i, I fl studio is like my main door anyway um okay. and i'd heard that it was like okay so i thought you know what i'll I'll download it why not it's it's like not expensive so I'll, I'll download it and just started making music on it every time like when i like just before bed or in the morning or if i had a break like in the middle of the day mm. i'd make little bits of music on it um and i had quite a few done and i thought oh, it, this has to go somewhere so once I'd finished um, the f four tracks, um, I recorded the audio from my phone through my 404 into my, um, my door and just mastered it so that the levels are like, you know, like it's not dead quiet. And that was it, really. Um, that's how it was made. Oh, wow. um, so yeah, um, and I mean, you know, there are. Wh whenever I listen to the the tracks, um, this is something. If you've like listened to the little, um, the first like I say track, it's not really a track. It's just me talking. Um, I I prefix the EP with, you know, these tracks all have something that they mean to me. Like I was, you know, anything that I would be thinking about at the time it always brings that back whenever I listen to the music, but there's no intended meaning. So if you, you know, it's all very atmospheric and, and chilled out, you can listen to it in the background. You don't really have to pay that much attention to it. So, you know, there's no intended meaning. Just listen to it and, you know, if you don't like it, then that's fine. Um, but yeah, I think... In terms of a release, I intentionally didn't take it very seriously. Um, in terms of, so so with with my band and uh, Lost Boys especially, um, the the DJ project, um, we take the marketing like very seriously. Um, so there's always like we're always running ads, we're running like some like always running like a marketing campaign to sort of you know maximize the reach of the track like mm. the lost boys tracks have got both got like over 100k on spotify yeah so cool. awesome. yeah it's 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 cool um but it takes a lot of time and money and <laughs> physical resources so i just sort of made this music I, I didn't intend for it to you know like do especially well streaming wise i just i just wanted to put it out and um it was really cool the first day that it came out that there would be people, obviously people that I knew that had, you know, followed my band's music and followed the stuff that I did in Lost Boys. Connor's just joined. Hey, hey, he's in the <laughs> chat. Hey, he's in the chat. So, um, yeah, uh, there would be people that obviously had followed me doing that and then people that, you know, didn't really either connect with music that I'd done before or, mm. you know, um, people that didn't really pay that much attention to music I'd already done, people I'd like been to university with, uh, it all would, they were all just like sharing it on their Instagram story. And that was really, really cool to see. I was really humbled because I didn't, yeah. like it's nice to see when you put a lot of money into like a marketing campaign and ads and stuff like that. But when I just put it out and I was like, okay, this is just to go out. People, you know, if you like it, if you then that's fine. If you don't, I don't mind. It was really humbling to see everybody sharing it. So, oh, that's yeah, nice. that's, yeah, that's cool. how it went, at least. 
yeah it's always nice to get the kind of uh validation and support from your 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 friends and your family because it always you know it's, it's lovely to get like playlists and blogs and stuff but that's that kind of means a lot more that they that they're supporting you and helping you out as well sharing it about to new people mm -hmm. well this is it i mean i don't i used to a very long time ago used to do like solo gigs um mm -hmm. where i'd do like um a dj set opening for very very similar to how i met um i got working with connor on the lost boys store um but this was earlier than that i'd used to dj a load of like really heavy um like dance music stuff to open for like a metal gig or mm. to do like an after party for a metal gig and i don't do that that much these days um and i think that's one of the reasons why i didn't take the release that seriously it's because I'm not trying to, at the moment anyway, trying to grow a fan base. Uh, too much of my time goes into training to be a teacher, um, you know, promoting the Lost Boys stuff, doing my band. It's like I have no time to put into growing myself as an artist, um, as like a solo artist. So I just, that's one of the reasons why I didn't put as much effort into the marketing. So, you know, when it doesn't inevitably do as well, um, in numbers it doesn't really matter because I'm not trying to gig or you know sell merch mm. or anything like that so that's one of the good things about not taking something seriously yeah it's nice to do that like once in a while it's just to say just put it out and just let it be out not you know force it anywhere just see what happens with it it's like because you never know you might you can put no marketing into something and it does well and you can put loads of marketing into something and it doesn't so it's sometimes it's a bit hit and miss really isn't it <laughs> it is very hit and miss I, i've had a few a few releases where we um in my band we'd like um this is when we were just working out the kinks of marketing um mm. put a lot into a release and it didn't do so well to start with and then we had to work the kinks out and you know um market it later down the line um there's one two three three people I can count that are usually watching the um, live streams that my band do on Facebook. Thank you for coming. Uh, I think Connor said, mate, Connor, I, I love you so much. Connor said, uh, I heard hopefully a new tune will come out in May too. Hopefully. So if everybody, if anybody in here isn't to dance music, hopefully there'll be a new Lost Boys tune in May. Fingers crossed. Awesome. So Can't wait. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> I hope, yeah, I can get on it. it with with the Lost Boys stuff. I think, and and dance music specifically, um, I think it's you know it's always important anyway. But it's ever more important that when you do a release, you have a really really professional looking music video. So yeah. one of the reasons why we aren't regularly putting out music at the moment is because we can't just meet up to do music yeah. videos now. So. But yeah yeah awesome well there's like there's so much um there's so many different areas of music that you're kind of in with um but i also saw that do you want to tell us is there anything you can tell us about the um the streetwear brand that's obviously it looks very very new but i guess like the concept is there and i'll i'll blast through it really quick <laughs> so this this the nevermore clothing company thing project whatever you want to call it is uh, an evolution, I say evolution, it's sort of like the part two of a clothing band that um, me and the guy that I'm trying to set this up with at the moment, we're just like laying the groundwork for it at the moment. Obviously we both, he works as a tattoo artist, so, mm -hmm. and obviously I'm a musician and a teacher trainee. It's like, we, we both don't get a lot of time. Um, so, it's something that's going to come to fruition eventually, but we did work on another brand, which which was under the like the same Instagram, um, but it had a different name, and uh, it was me, him, and another like a couple of people, and it. I, I'm not going to lie; it was like so. So working in my band, for an example, I'll use this as an example. It's 
it's really nice especially nowadays we're all you know doing our own jobs we're completely diy we're, we're not managed anymore uh, we're not signed so it's all like all hands on deck we we do everything um and that's what i wanted this brand to be when i was laying the groundwork for the previous brand and it it was just difficult to get people to do work like people were very hard to reach um over like whatever you know social media or 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 like um contact they preferred to be contacted by it was really difficult to get people to work um mm -hmm. there was a guy that was in it um the last brand specifically who um yeah like he was he was really stoked he seemed really really happy to like work on everything and then when it came to it he didn't deliver he's um extremely bad with money that i didn't i didn't realize at the time so you know bad thing for a business don't don't start a business with somebody who's bad with money <laughs> um, and i'd heard um a lot of really really bad um cancel culture-esque allegations about him and yeah. um, it was time to sort of like nip that in the bud and sort of say mm isn't going to work mate sorry so and that sort of killed the whole um i don't know what the the uh the the word is the like snowball effect we, we were really you know we had pl so many plans and they just didn't happen so at some point we're going to set it back up but um you know it's just a, a side project at the moment so we're just laying the groundwork for it awesome well yeah i mean there's so many things going on. I think, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice addition, but there's already so much to get involved with if someone's new to your music and new to your page and stuff. Yeah, I think I think something that I need to work on, because I'm particularly bad at this, uh, is trying to differentiate, you know, when um, I'm talking about each individual project, because mm -hmm. I think to people that don't, either know me in person or um are connected as like a i don't want to say fan because i feel like fan is like a very um i don't know there's a sort of certain weight that comes with being a fan of mm -hmm. a band and i don't think that we're like at that level yet but if you're not a supporter or someone who knows me personally i think it like you've said yourself it can be very confusing so I'm, I'm, it's on my list of things to do to sort of make it very clear as to, okay, this is this, this is this, and mm. this is the other thing. So, yeah, I I appreciate it's difficult to work out what's what, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's, it's just, um, it's exciting to see, like, so many things going on from, from you, and it's... Um, it's awesome to see a kind of an artist that I didn't know about having so much to learn about as well. Cause I didn't, you know, honestly, like I, when I read like your, um, the genres, I was like, oh, okay, well, I don't, I don't really listen to this music. So it's good. <laughs> it's good because you kind of get people into it that weren't maybe necessarily didn't listen to it before and have this kind of avenue into it, especially like my followers. Hopefully some people will like, what you're chatting about and um come and listen to it because it's it's good quality music it's good music thank you so much yeah i i appreciate all of the kind words um yeah i think i, I don't know i think with with my band this is when i notice it specifically with my band it's like um you know and i'm guessing that this is going to become more of a thing that happens in the future but it's sort of started to happen now where there are people that um, will come to a show who aren't really into metalcore music. Maybe they're really into like drum and bass or mm. they're really into like, uh, you know, the more like contemporary, like hip hop style stuff that's, that's um, sort of incorporated. And then there are people that are straight metalcore fans and they come and they hear, um, the different elements of our music and aren't completely horrified by it because the metal com community is very notorious for that sort of thing. Um, and yeah, it's sort of, I don't want to say that it's something that we set out to do because I, I don't know, it feels like it 
it can probably come across a bit pretentious. Um, I try and not, I really try and not do that because, <laughs> yeah, it is it is what it is. But um, I think people do sort of open their ears a bit to different sort of genres of music when coming to our shows, at least. Um, and some people really like it. Some people really, really hate it. So <laughs> that is what it is. But yeah, um, bringing people together is, you know, the preferred of the two. <laughs> exactly. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, I I don't know. I just love music, man. It's it, it's. I don't know what I'd do without it, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> <laughs> when it's you know when it's become kind of like your twenty four seven as well. When it's your job, when it's your side passion, when it's your other things and that, it's kind of it becomes part of you. It's an extension of you, and I think you can you can tell that in the music that it's not it's not forced at all it's just it's just what comes out it's just mm. na- natural um and that's good that makes the listener you know when you're listening to it you just feel kind of strange words to use but like comforted by it and just be like okay this this person knows what they're doing I can just sit back and relax I don't need to like think about anything I just sit and I listen and I enjoy it but yeah I sat and listened to it all day today and I enjoyed it very much it was good oh thank you so much <laughs> you, you didn't have to do that so of course you yeah know, that- going out of your way to listen to my music i really appreciate it no it was good thank you for coming on and chatting to me um is there anything else we've missed that you want to chat about or anyone you want to i don't know let me see if there's anything in the uh connor yes i will i will speak to you about it at some point (laughs) some business proposals hello um i don't think that i've there's many comments i haven't read i've been trying to while you've been speaking to like listen and read at the same time <laughs> yeah multitasking but no i've 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 really really enjoyed it um i'm you know i think one of the things i like you know i'm not i'm not just doing this to try and seem like all oh, really really nice and it's like oh you know when you speak to other people yeah josh he was really nice so it's not it's not what i'm trying to do but i think this whole um like instagram live show type platform isn't something that i see very often um it's you know something that i think is at least for me um because i i i very rarely see something like this really really new i think it's really cool i've seen i you know i went back and watched um a few live streams you did before i discovered what you're doing and it's really interesting that you have you know such such an array of different people um on the show and yeah i'm just really really grateful that you've had me on to be honest it's uh yeah it's been it's been a fun time I'm thank you so welcome. much yeah thank you for popping up to me otherwise i wouldn't have wouldn't have discovered you i did i didn't want it i didn't want it to feel like um how do i explain this i didn't want it to feel like um oh i've got something really really good going on and now this person <laughs> that i don't know wants a slice of the pie nothing like that i just I, th- I thought it was really cool, and yeah, I just wanted to come and come and chat about um, yeah. that music, really. Definitely, so, yeah. yeah, I've enjoyed it. It was good fun. Um, thank you for coming on. It's lovely to meet you. I will. Um, I'll post the three things on my story as well, so people can listen. To yes, it. thank you so much. I will. I will share this so that people who haven't had the chance to see it um, can watch it. And um, at some point, I will meet you in person. Probably yes. an open mic <laughs> would be nice when those things are allowed again so Mm -hmm. yeah thank you so much for having me on thank Um, you yeah (laughs) thanks (laughs) awesome (laughs) right i will um i'll hopefully see you soon and uh yeah thanks for coming on and sharing your music with us no problem thank you (laughs) cheers awesome that was nice um so that's josh i will post his personal the band and lost boys onto my story and you can go listen to them all they're all a little bit different um and they're all really good um even you know i'm not into this kind of music i've never listened to this music before and i can appreciate it was really good and i enjoyed it so maybe i should listen to it a bit more it spread my horizons a little bit but that's what this is all about um thank you for coming along if you want to come on and have a chat or share your music pop me a message um 
and I will be back next week with someone else. Thank you very much for supporting um, this and for supporting Josh. I'll see you very soon. Have a nice evening.